there she is. Or he. I haven't decided to name her yet, but or it. I guess it's gonna be her because I keep calling her. So, um, yeah, she's pretty rough. This thing is shot. Getting this out of this uh, ground is gonna be fun. But we'll get it done. Yes, sir. These boats are uh, pretty sought after, especially on the uh, west coast of Florida. Uh, guys really like to use them for tarpon fishing. Um, they they have a very shallow draft. Got you greasing up the bearings there, huh, little girl? <laughs> Yeehaw. It's like toothpaste. Pump it. Keep going. So we got a strap down and Hopefully she makes it home without falling off the trailer. And uh, if it does, my girlfriend can swerve around it. Because she's got cat-like race car driver reflexes. So. Last time it was registered in 2017. First time towing this boat home is uh, it's always a little nerve-wracking, don't know if the bearings are going to freeze up or if this van's going to handle it, but it's going fine. So, almost home. have a girlfriend that likes the power wash. So, uh, it's still pretty clean. Hi. Hi. Getting it all cleaned up. Alright, so, me and my girlfriend spent probably two or three hours um, pressure washing it. It actually looks good from afar. Um, But definitely far from good. Which is fine. It's not, I'm not worried about uh, this. I, I didn't plan this boat to be anything but a project boat. So nothing is disappointing so far. Let's take a look at the bottom. I don't know if that. That keel has a curve to it or not, if that's normal. Um, there's one patch up there I gotta take a look at. It doesn't look like it has any other major hits though. This transom plate is huge. That's gonna be a Gonna be a nightmare to take off, probably. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's just one big sheet. And weld it off across there. That sucker's on there. This motor. I'm just gonna take the prop off and list it for free. I the. I try to bleed it to come down. It's it's frozen up. So. I'm just gonna get rid of that thing. I don't even want to mess with it. Let somebody else make it their project, but um, yeah, so they had said that they had redone the floor all the way up until the um, bait well, live well, and uh, I mean, it, it does feel solid. 
um, has this start at the front. Broken stringers there. That's broken. Water lot. They put a gas tank above the floor. So, there's a big old gas tank in here. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's how. They come drain like that. I'm not sure. Anyways, the way it's it's basically right now, what it's I have to work it's with. It's rough. It's ugly. Um, but it's mine. And it's beautiful in my head because it's a big project that I've always wanted to work on. Um, I'm not sure what um, what I'm going to do as far as layout. Uh, I do know this floor is getting ripped out. Uh, I do know this. Um, this deck up here is going to get ripped out. Um, I'll probably get a new arrangement as far as um, the cabinets and, and storage spaces. Um, I like the center console. Um, I like the T-top so far. I know that the top I'm going to have, um, I'll have some new stuff done up there as far as I want like rod holders and um, some sort of way to store life vests up here. Um, this leaning post I'll get rid of and I want to get a, a lot of guys put the leaning post um, uh, live well right there I think that's a good idea um, I might move the center console further up a little bit I, I tend to like the back of the boat the uh, clearest the most that's where most people hang out for fishing because um, this is gonna be a fishing and scuba diving boat that's my main um, hobbies when I get out in the ocean. So, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, these are plans I have now, and who knows what will happen. I might get a whole new center console. I, might, I don't know. That's the fun thing with these things. As they go, they evolve. Um, other than that, that's what I got. And uh, more shall be revealed. Next stage, I'm getting... I already posted the motor on Offer Up. Um, I have like 50 guys <laughs> asking to come pick it up. We'll see who I'm sure they'll get I'll get rid of that quickly and then I'm backing it up into my backyard and um, I'm gonna start planning it and then start tearing it apart um, there's a couple really good sites I found um, there's an aqua sports specific site classic aqua sports .com, and then there's another one called the hull truth that is uh, got a lot of really good information as far as boat rebuilding um, so, uh, what else? That's it. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to put it down in the comment section. Um, subscribe. I've never had any subscribers, so that would be kind of cool. And uh, let's have fun. Alright, talk to you later.